Today, I will show you sci-fi movie 2017. Title The Shape of Water. Spoiler ahead. Watch out and take care. A mute woman who lives in the attic above a movie theater. The woman's name is Elisa. That day Elisa started her daily activities before leaving for work. He took the time to meet his neighbor named Giles, who is a painter and likes to watch TV. That night, Elisa went to work by bus. Elisa works at OCCAM, Space Research Center. He works as a cleaning service. He is also friends with Zelda who every day invites him to chat. Elisa is mute, but she can still hear people talking. That day, in room T4, there was a research object to be moved to that place. Under the control of Richard Strickland, the military man assigned to oversee the research at the site. The next day, Giles invited Elisa to buy a pie at his customer's place. Here we can conclude that this Giles is gay because of his interest in the cake shop employees. That day when Elisa was working to clean the toilet, she met Richard. He saw the blood residue from the stick that Richard was carrying. Then there was the incident at the T4 lab where Richard's hand was injured. The officer asked Elisa and Zelda to clean the lab. Elisa accidentally found a piece of Richard's finger. When Elisa approached a tube, she saw a creature that resembled a fish monster. Come the head of security to pick up Strickland's finger pieces. The next night, Elisa returned to the lab to confirm what she had seen. But this time he saw the fish monster in the pond tied up in chains. When Elisa tried to give the boiled egg she was carrying, the monster immediately took it and carried it into the water. When leaving the lab, Elisa met Zelda who told her that Richard wanted to meet the two of them. Richard asks where they came from, Zelda says that, Elisa was found by the river and cared for in an orphanage. Elisa has also been mute since she was a baby. Richard's purpose with meeting them was to warn them not to talk about what had happened to him in the lab. Well, that's all. Two fingers, yeah? You got two fingers. When Richard came home from work, his family greeted him. Turns out they just moved there. And that day Richard's wife welcomed her husband by asking him to make love, so that Richard would buy a new car. That day when Elisa was working to clean the lab, it turned out that Elisa also brought a musical instrument that she turned on near the pool where the monster was. He explained to the fish using sign language. It looks like the fish understands Elisa's sign language a bit. The next day Elisa often brought boiled eggs for the fish. When Elisa dances to entertain the fish, it looks like the fish likes Elisa's movements. It turns out that their action was witnessed by Professor Bob. Bob immediately rushed to go see his friend. It turns out that Bob leaked the secrets of his research lab to the Russians, and informed him of what he had seen. That day when Elisa returned to see the fish in the lab, she saw the fish in a state in chains, as if holding back pain. When Elisa was about to help her, it turned out that Richard also entered the room. He tortured the fish by electrocuting it multiple times, and Richard found a hard-boiled egg that had fallen while Elisa was carrying it earlier. When General Hoyt arrived, Richard asked the general to dissect the fish and examine his body. But Bob refuses and feels sorry for the condition of the fish who fainted because he was out of the water for too long. Elisa, who at that time heard what was going on, finally had the initiative to take the fish out of the lab and bring it home. Because Elisa felt that the fish understood her and accepted her limitations. Elisa didn't want the fish to die from being tortured in the lab. He also asked Giles for help but Giles refused to help Elisa. Oh, God. When I come back... I'm sorry, but this, this, this... Giles left Elisa and met Bernie to deliver a painting ordered by Bernie's boss. But Bernie cancels it for no reason. Giles was disappointed, and went to the pie cellar. He confides with a store employee he likes. When Giles held the man's hand, instantly the man got angry and drove Giles away, and forbade him to come back to the shop. It turns out that Giles' love is one-sided. It looks like Elisa is cleaning her bathtub, and Giles comes to see her to agree to Elisa's plan, and help her out. That night Professor Bob meets with his friend to plan to retrieve the fish. But Bob's friend asked him to kill the fish by injecting the poison he had prepared. Before starting his plan, Elisa began to prepare a way to take the fish away and change the identity of Giles, 
becoming an employee of the place. That day Richard was watching Elisa, Richard who was not sure that Elisa was mute, tried to harass him, but Elisa refused and left the place. Seen Bob preparing a shot for the fish. And Elisa also started her plan by turning the security camera in the lab. And it was witnessed by Bob who was meeting with Richard. When Elisa was about to take the fish, Bob suddenly appeared who changed his mind and instead helped Elisa free the fish. Giles finally came, but Giles' disguise was discovered by the security officers. With Bob's help, Giles finally arrived at the pickup point and immediately moved him into the car. They immediately ran away even though Richard kept shooting at them to stop. Arriving at home, Elisa immediately took the fish to the bathroom and put it in the bathtub. Richard checked the explosives from Israel, he suspected that the theft of their assets had something to do with the feud between the two countries between America and Russia. That day, Elisa was seen teaching the fish about friendship by using pictures and gestures, the fish was also attracted to Elisa. Elisa continued to work as usual and asked Zelda not to divulge what happened that night. Richard also summoned the two of them for questioning. But calmly Zelda and Elisa answered all questions from Richard. At home, Giles was seen sleeping when he finished painting the fish. It turned out that the fish came out of the bath and looked around the house, he was surprised by what he saw. When Giles woke up from his sleep, he immediately looked for fish. How surprised Giles was to see the fish had eaten his cat. Then the fish immediately ran and accidentally his claws hurt Giles' arm. Giles immediately contacted Elisa and said that the fish ran away. When Elisa came home, he was surprised to see Giles' condition, but Giles asked Elisa to immediately find the fish that ran out. Turns out the fish was in the cinema, Elisa immediately took him home. When it saw the wound on Giles' hand, the fish immediately healed the wound on Giles' arm with its strength. When it was late afternoon, Elisa put the fish into the bath again. When Elisa touched the skin of the fish, suddenly the skin of the fish emitted a blue light. And when the fish touched Elisa, Elisa came out while holding back an unusual feeling. Elisa decided to sleep. But a crazy idea came up, this time Elisa asked the fish to make love in the bathroom. The next day, Elisa told Zelda about it, Zelda asked where the fish rod was. And it turns out. That day Bob was visited by his friend to ask about the results of the fish autopsy. They think the fish is dead, but Bob finds an excuse not to get caught. Bob almost killed his friend, but he didn't. Elisa, who was about to bathe the fish, suddenly had another crazy thought. But now it's even more extreme, by filling the bathroom with water and Elisa can make love to the fish monster in the water. The water from Elisa's bathroom overflowed into the cinema room, until Giles was reprimanded by the cinema owner who saw water dripping from Elisa's room. When Giles opened the bathroom door, he saw Elisa was alone with the fish. That day, Richard was visited by General Lloyd, he kept urging Richard to find the fish within 36 hours. If not, Richard's career is coming to an end. Elisa looked at the calendar, it was time for her to release the fish when it was raining and the water on the pier was higher. But Elisa has fallen in love with the fish and is not willing to let go of the fish. The night comes for Bob for extraction, and meets his Russian friend at the usual place. But it looks like Richard is following Bob from behind because he is suspicious of Bob's activities. When Bob's friends came, it was seen that they actually shot Bob. Richard immediately shot the two Russians to death. Knowing that Bob is speaking Russian, Richard asks Bob to show the group that had stolen the fish, forcing Bob to tell Richard about Zelda. Richard immediately went to Zelda's house, and there he asked Zelda the whereabouts of the fish. Zelda tried to keep it a secret, but Zelda's husband told Richard that the fish was at Elisa's house. After Richard left, Zelda immediately contacted Elisa and informed that Richard was heading to his house. When he arrived at Elisa's house, Richard did not find Elisa and the fish. It turns out that Elisa brought the fish to the beach pier. Richard learned of Elisa's plans from the notes on the calendar. Giles and Elisa arrive at the dock to release the fish. Suddenly Richard appeared and shot the fish and Elisa until Elisa died. 
Giles immediately attacked Richard, when Giles managed to paralyze Richard, he immediately approached Elisa. Then a miracle happened where the fish stood up and healed the gunshot wound to his chest. In a state of anger, the fish approached Richard, and immediately clawed Richard's neck to death from blood loss. Then the fish brought Elisa's body into the water. When in the water, the fish kissed Elisa and instantly the scar on Elisa's neck turned into gills. Then Elisa came back to life. But she is no longer Elisa who lives on land, but Elisa who returns to her new life. They both live happily as a new species. Thank you for watching this channel. Subscribe, like and share. For the next fast movie recaps.